The FTEC navigation database comprises over 20,000 airports, VOR and ADF navigation aids. It is updated on a monthly basis as part of your FTEC Premium Lounge membership. Let's see how you can use it in the app. Here we're looking at the HSI and the VOR instrument. On the left hand side the HSI is tuned currently to Oakland VOR and that's indicated by the icon bottom right being in green. On the right hand side we've got the VOR uh, currently not tuned to any station it says so in the on the left hand side but also if you look at the icon it's shown in red. So if we click on the red icon it brings up the aircraft navigation database. If we go hit the little eye on the top right here we can get details on the database itself. So the publication cycle 2107 which basically tells us July 2021. The publication date of the actual database file, the date and time we downloaded it to this device, the size of the file uh, and also here we have a mechanism to automatically update to see if there's any uh, updates on the server. The app does this once every six hours, but if you'd like to, to manually do it, you can click the button here and it will tell you whether there's any updates available or not. As far as database contents, um, here we've got in this database, we've got 22,868 items, uh, of which 13,889 are airports, and roughly 4,000 are VORDME, and 4,200 are NDB. We've got currently no user nav aids in this, in this database. Um, so that's the NAV database info screen. Um, we can um, show just airports, just NDBs, just VORs, um, or just user stations. So we've kind of got no user stations in here. We'll create one in a moment. Um, so if we go back to VORs, uh, we're going to tune up a VOR. So let's tune up um, Concord VOR. So there you go. We've just clicked on, on the VOR in the navigation database, and it's automatically tuned uh, the VOR to that. We can now rotate the radio and uh, we can see we are currently on the three degree radial to Concord VOR. Um, it's 38 nautical miles away and our current speed it will take us currently 33 minutes to arrive at the Concord VOR. Uh, we've got the ident down at the bottom hand side here as well. If we want to tune to a different station again click the bottom right icon um, choose a new station. Um, okay, let's tune up an airport in this VOR now. So let's choose um, um, Byron Airport. We'll click that. There you go, 38 nautical miles away, um, and so forth. So you can tune up anything as a VOR. You could even tune up a user station. So if we wanted to create a, a, a new user station, we can click this button here. It will bring up the map, um, which will allow us to uh, position. Uh, where we'd like the user station to be. So say for example we wanted to put a user station at this at this lake here. Um, so position it over the lake, um, give it um, an ID. Hit the green icon, it's been successfully added. And now you can see here under user stations we've got Lake VOR it's positioned the ident we gave it and it's three nautical miles away. If we flick back to all here, there we go, we've got Lake VOR, it's the closest one to us, closely followed by San Carlos. Notice that the VORs in this list um, are sorted by distance. Um, so we, we go up to 50 nautical miles here and we go up to 50 nautical miles because in our application settings, we have the uh, nav database search radius set to 50 nautical miles. If we change that, uh, to 100 and hit confirm, go back into the nav database. If we look at the distance from now, um, when this gets updated, you'll see that the distances go way past 50 nautical miles as it updates and we'll get uh, up to 100 nautical miles um, on the list. There you go, 97 nautical miles. So Williams Vortac is the furthest one away. Let's tune that one up. Why not? Williams Vortac. So Williams Vortac, 97 nautical miles. And you can see we are on the 254 radial to Williams Vortac. Obviously, in a real instrument, in a real aircraft, we wouldn't be able to tune this up being 100 nautical miles away um, unless we were very high. Um, so uh, this is an advantage of the FDEC VOR instrument uh, over the uh, real aircraft instrument. I think that's pretty much it. The only other thing that I can show you is the search. Um, so if we uh, look for... Um, Livermore, um, I think, was a 
There you go, Livermore Municipal Airport and Livermore NDB. So you can you can search here. Um, so if you search for something that's not found, um, it just won't bring anything up. Um, you can type in anything. You can type in a, a, a part of an ident. Um, so uh, or you can type in uh, uh, there you go LK11. We can type in a name of an airport. So you could put uh, San for, from San Francisco. It's um, not case specific, so it doesn't matter whether you do it in lowercase or uppercase. It will still show um, all the all the relevant searches. You can cancel that here. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, to delete a user um, uh, station, you can um, slide it right and hit delete. Um, obviously, that doesn't actually function on the nav database items because they're fixed. But if you want to view where they are, you can slide it to the right, hit the green icon, um, and it will take you to a map and show you its location on the map as well, which is kind of handy sometimes as well. So I should show you that one once more time. So if we want to know where uh, St. Martin Airport is, slide to the right, hit the green icon, and it will show you where that is as well. Um, if you want to detune a radio slot, this button here is what you need. So you click that, and it will empty the slot and put us back to the location where we started with no station tuned. We do it to this one as well. That's the navigation database. Hope you enjoyed it.